What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly come up with content ideas using the Google Keyword Planner. You don't need search volume or anything for this. Essentially what we're going to do is use one setting in the Keyword Planner and I'm gonna show you how to come up with all sorts of keyword ideas for your business. So if you open up the Google Keyword Planner through your Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings, under Planning, open up the Keyword Planner. What you wanna do is click on Discover New Keywords and you wanna enter your main keywords for your brand here. So for this example, I'm gonna be using keywords, we'll say farmhouse decor. So let's enter a few different keywords here. Okay, so I'm trying to find keywords related to farmhouse decorations. And essentially what I'm trying to do is find some keywords that I may not be able to find as easily through my keyword research. And I wanna find things that are related to farmhouse decorations. So I enter six keywords here. So what we're gonna do is come over here and click on get results. So one of the problems with keyword research tools, when you enter six keywords here, it gave me 5,031 keyword ideas. So just looking at some of the keywords I entered, you can see there's a lot of a search volume, but as we come down here, you can start to see some of these different keywords. These are all really good keywords to target, and they're definitely keywords that I wanna target within my blog, but some of these are pretty obvious keywords to target, and a lot of these I already have pages for. So we're trying to find things that are a little bit unique and different. The way that you can go about doing that is after you enter all your keywords in here, instead of using the keyword view over here on the right hand side, what we're gonna do is change this to group view. Essentially what they're showing us are different ad groups that we can create. So if we come down here and we scroll down to group view, you're gonna see all of these different options that they give us. So we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. They give us 534 different grouped ideas. Now the reason why I like using grouped ideas is you're going to find things that are very random here, like cow decor, farmhouse cow decor. I don't have that page on my website. If we come down here, hallway decor, that's another page I don't have on my website. Kitchen island decor. So if we click on the drop down, they'll actually show you the average monthly search volume for all these different keywords. So a lot of times it can be difficult to find keywords like this and you can use the filters and go to the keyword view and say, find me keywords that have somewhere between, let's say 100 and 300 average monthly searches and you'll be able to find more keywords like this, but there's still gonna be so many different keyword ideas. There, there's two reasons why I like using group view. What I will do is I will literally go to my spreadsheet and if we don't open it up here, you can see farmhouse decor article ideas. So I'll just come in here and put one or two words here. So cow, hallway, kitchen island. So as we're coming over here and we're looking at all of these different keywords, so let's come out of this group, you're gonna see so many different ideas where let's come over to page two. So over here on page two, just by quickly looking at some of these different groups, English farmhouse, that's another keyword that I can add over here. So English farmhouse. Now, sometimes what you're going to see is a keyword over here like mantle. And when we click on the drop down, the main keyword in here is farmhouse garland for mantle. Now that's something I wouldn't have thought to target. I'm already targeting farmhouse garlands. Why not create an article about different farmhouse garlands for mantles? Create a product category page on my website where I just feature some different garlands I already have for sale and use this long tail keyword to create a brand new product category. It's gonna help me tap into more average monthly searches and hopefully drive more traffic to my website. So what you're trying to do here is essentially go through these groups and just keep coming up with different ideas. So ladder decor large modern, navy decor. So by going through all these different keywords, you're going to find some of these keywords that have a good amount of average monthly search volume that you probably wouldn't have ever thought to target. So let's collapse this real quick and let's keep scrolling down. So plant decor, winter decor, dresser decor, decor colors, so colorful de decorations. So you'll see all of these different ideas and this works for basically any niche that you can think of. So let's just, get rid of all these X's here, and let's just say, I wanna create content around Google Ads. So I enter Google Ads, I say Google Ads tutorial. Okay, so I enter some different keywords related to Google Ads. I can keep adding more here, but we click on get results. And let's just say for my Surfside PPC blog, I wanna create more content around Google Ads. So if we scroll down here, all you're going to see, look at all these different grouped ideas. So how to start a Google Ads campaign, how to create a Google Ads manager account, how to create a remarketing campaign, how to run a successful Google Ads account, uh, campaign, how to create an account, how to add site links, how to add my business address, how to add my restaurant, how to add videos, what are the best extensions, what are best practices, what are performance max campaigns. These are all different ideas for content. And if we come down here to the group view again, this gave me 203 different groups. So even if let's just say only a quarter of them 
our actual content ideas by quickly coming in here to the grouped view i have now 50 new ideas for videos i can create for blog articles i can write and essentially ways to get more eyeballs on my content so if you're looking for a quick and easy way to come up with some different content ideas go to the google keyword planner use the group view you're going to have to enter keyword ideas and then just change to the grouped view over here instead of the keyword view and to me it's much easier to kind of visualize okay i can create content around some of these different topics I've done this a lot for my website farmhouse goals because there are so many different types of farmhouse products that nobody would ever think of. So as you start coming up with more and more products and you're adding all these different things to a website, eventually you get to the point where you start to kind of run out of some different keywords. So it's a quick and easy way to go in and say, well, I've never created a page about that. I don't have any products about this. It's much easier to kind of look at groups of keywords that you can target and then quickly and easily target them and then hopefully drive more traffic to our website. That's ultimately all of our goals. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.